I don't know. All I know is we threw four interceptions and fumbled once. One interception they returned for a touchdown. Three others were in our end of the field where they scored point. That's all I know. That's inexcusable. Inexcusable. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. Another game. They're better than we are. We're not good enough. We shouldn't even be thinking about beating this 49ers. We shouldn't be talking about it because the Saints ain't good enough. And you guys shouldn't write about us being a playoff team and all that bull stuff. That's malarkey. We ain't good enough to beat those guys, and it was proven out there today. It's that simple. We're not good enough yet. We got a long way to go. We got a lot of work to do. We're close, and close don't mean And you can put that on TV for me. I'm tired of coming close, and we're going to work our off till we ain't close anymore. And it may take some time. We're going to get it done. We aren't in there. We aren't, we aren't good enough. They're better than us. Black and white, simple fact. Could have, would have, should have is the difference of what I'm talking about. The good teams don't come in and say could have. They get it done. All right? It's that simple. I'm tired of saying could have, should have, would have. That's why we ain't good enough yet. Because we're saying could have and they ain't. Fired up. Let's go. What are you fired up about? Every, life, the football, the media, the press, the fans. The world, my wife, my family, my grandkids, everything, you name it. You're not down on anything at all? Nothing. Not a single thing? No. How'd practice go? Outstanding. One of the best practices we've had in my 10-year history here. What about those That's why I chewed their ass out for 10 minutes afterwards. What about the politicians stealing all the money from gambling and everything? That doesn't bum you out a little bit? I'm glad you said that. What? I'm kidding. No. Seriously, you weren't happy with No, I was not happy with practice. Uh, and I think uh, they let a little heat and humidity bother them. And hell, it's going to be hot and humid for two months. we got to fight through it and practice good. Just because it's hot and humid, we can't have bad practices. Anything in particular? <laughs> Catch your Is it, do you think it makes it easier, tougher? Is it uh, of any consequence that, you know, you can you get ready for what could be a pivotal game for a playoff and... Uh, you know, something could happen in another game that, that makes all of this useless, essentially. You know, is that part That's of That's a that dumb question, and I won't even respond to it. All right, but I know you, it's, it's not necessarily a dumb question, Coach. I mean, yeah, it is. It's, it's, a dumb, it's, it's a dumb something question. else in the mix that, uh, you know, you have to block out. The it's fact a, that you could be preparing for a game that is essentially the end of the season rather than a playoff, depending on what somebody else does. Do you have to kind of block that out? And that's something in the mix? No. Mm -hmm. okay. Is that it? Good. See, that's the trouble. You probably played a lot of useless games. We don't play useless games. Every game we play is an important game, whether it's for a playoff spot or not. Maybe that wasn't the case with you, but it is with this football team. Every game, no game is useless. So when you use a dumb term like that, a useless game, that's the most an idiotic question I've ever heard when you say something like that. Is that uh, a, the a useless, a, yeah, they're both dumb. Really? A, a useless game. When was a game uh, useless? Well, that is idiotic. What if they're playing Jesus for the playoffs Christ. or not? Is it useless? Is a game useless? You think players Use your play, head. You think players Jesus. play differently? Maybe you did, huh? but these guys don't. Dumb question. A useless game. What do you guys think? A useless game. That is fing stupid. Wake up. Sure, Christ. Why don't you then just don't say fing useless. Then well, don't say know. useless, because I'm hey. not going to respond to a stupid question like well, that. Coach. You ask the question right, and I'll respond to it. Coach. When you say useless, I, I'm not going to respond to it. Let's just get to the truth. Well, let's get to what we mean. I mean, for crying out loud. Then I'm, you ask what you mean. Well, you ask what you mean. How about if you said useless? I, well, I meant no playoff implications. Well, then fine. Then, okay. ask, then ask us. Well, crying out loud. We can clear it up the, there without doing all this, can't we? The hell, we can. Huh? If you would ask Come the question on. right, I'll answer it. Has anybody here ever said off. Has anybody ever suggested this team doesn't game. play? That this team doesn't care and doesn't play hard? Has anybody when ever you suggested ask a that? Question like, huh? what, when you ask a question like that, that is that is stupid. That, that's implying no, it's not. A dumb, it's a useless. Not. The if hell you get it, it? If you get it, what in I'm your asking? Mind, it's useless. In, in no, mind, no, 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 no. Useless, useless. Well, that's what you said. But, I mean, you're going to get guys that's ready for a game said. that may or may not have playoff that's, implications. That's an entirely different question. Well, that's what I meant to ask. Then ask it. Well, God, coach, then fly off the. So I don't then get a chance to clarify. Well, ask a damn thing if you want me to respond. I would like to you. It. I'd like to ask you that question now. Fine, let's, that's fine. I'd be happy to answer it. If you answer, ask it right. 
Well, what happened was that second game, we got our ass kicked, or the second half. We just got our ass totally kicked. We couldn't do diddly poo offensively. We couldn't make a first down. We couldn't run the ball. We didn't try to run the ball. We couldn't complete a pass. We sucked. The second half, we sucked. We couldn't stop the run. Every time they got the ball, they went down and got points. We got our ass totally kicked in the second half. That's what it boiled down to. It was a horse performance in the second half. Horse I'm totally embarrassed and totally ashamed. Coaching, all, we're all, all, our coaching did a horrible job. The players did a horrible job. We got our ass kicked in that second half. It sucked. It stunk. Okay. So much. <laughs> Just one game. Just one 15 game. to go. <laughs> Speaking of the season not being over, let's get back out to our crew in Minneapolis. Fletcher, Sharif, and Coach Jim Moore, the later it gets, the less patient Coach gets with Fletcher and Sharif, guys. <laughs> just said the later it gets Jim the less patient you get with us is that true who said that Scott <laughs> tell Scott he's full of shit no. it's okay it's sorry okay. about what? that what? he's full of it how about that yes he well, is full I'm, of I'm, it I'm yes we're, we're, we're live it's okay it's okay um, that, that, live? Just, that was live no was that it? was live that's, let's just move past it oh my that's, god it's okay that's okay let's just move past it are you um, serious yes we're serious um how about this let's hear <laughs> from Sean sorry Payton. gang that's okay Let's hear from Sean Payton right now about uh, about the game and about next week playing a, a difficult opponent coming up in the New England Patriots. Obviously a tough loss tonight and, uh, and a tough game ahead this week. From this game to the next one, and then, I mean, Jim, uh, obviously you're not happy. Oh, we got our ass kicked. We got our ass kicked. It was, it was, it was uh, sickening. First three, first, we have 18 plays on offense. First 18 plays, we turn the ball over, one for a touchdown. The other one's going to set, set up a touchdown. We can't, you know, we got backs that can't hang onto the ball. They out hit us, they out toughed us. You know, we, we stunk today. We're, we, we, not even close between that football team and our football team. Not even close. Ridiculous. We run two screens, we don't block anybody. We get a back, gets his knee blown out on one of them. Can block anybody. We stunk. Just stunk. Jim injuries. Uh, I think it's. Oh, I, I, Dean told me he blew his knee out. Uh, you know, you got to block people on a screen. Shit, he gets the ball out there, and two guys, big old animals, nail his ass. Shit, it's ridiculous. We, we run a screen before that, we get our ass nailed. What about Shit. scales, coaches? I, I don't know. I don't know. You know, uh, Dean said he couldn't put any weight on his leg. That didn't sound too good to me. Mm -hmm. Shit, we, we're down. You know, we're down and back. We're down in everything. We, 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 you know, shit. We don't have enough people right now. Be hard to practice next week, uh, pink effectively. It, pink it done for the year, you think? I don't know. I don't know. Dean told me he looked like he tore two knee ligaments. That doesn't sound very encouraging. Do you take into account at all the fact that they bear? I don't take into account shit. All I take into account is they kicked our ass today. That's what I take into account. Stowers. Stowers. Well, let me let me just tell you something. He looked pretty good, right? They cut him before they came to camp. Kansas City Chiefs cut Stowers before they came to camp. camp. Looked pretty good for us. Maybe that shows you the difference between our team and their team. I don't know. Will you go back to What do you guys think about that? You, pretty good indication, right? They won't even bring him to camp. Shit, he looks like a star of the day for the Saints. Jim, will you change uh, the focus of practice? Depends on if we got right anybody now? that can practice. You know, we got if we can line up and do, do something. Jim, was the effort there today? Did you? Uh, I was all right. Uh, you know, uh, uh, Buford Jordan goes in there and gets a little hit and knocks the ball out. Head gets in there, gets a little hit, ball goes out. Shit, I don't know if that's effort or not. It's horse shit ball carrying, I know that. Horse shit. You, re you guys really don't know when it's good or bad, when it comes right down to it. Will you make a promise to us? Will you tell us when it's good? And I'm promising you right now that you don't know when it's good or bad. You really don't know because you don't know what we're trying to do. You guys don't look at the films. You don't know what happened. You really don't know. You think you know, but you don't know. And you never will, okay? Just for your own information. Sometimes you, it won't, I can tell you it won't be good, and you'll see it won't be good. Sometimes you'll think it's good, and it isn't any good. Sometimes you'll think it's bad, and it was pretty darn good. Sometimes you'll think it's bad, and it was bad. But basically, you really don't know. The only people that really know are our coaches. And that goes with run blocking, pass defense, all those things.
The media, the public doesn't know, you guys don't know, not really know. Channel 8 here? Channel 4 here? Good. They're not here? Uh, what the sh Where's your camera guy? I kicked his ass off the field. He's, uh, he's in the uh, dome room right now. Good. You keep his ass off. I don't ever want anybody... Look like a goddamn couple of... Uh, I don't want anything on. Leave it, Leave it off. 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 This isn't for the record. Nothing's for the record. The guy gets hurt over there, and I see two guys with cameras, not like a like a, a couple of damn uh, lechers, you know. Oh my God, we're gonna film a guy hurt. That's unbelievable. That's chick stuff, and I don't want that ever on this practice field. Not ever. You understand? Ever. All right, let's go. Jim, I heard you say out there that uh, it wasn't a good practice. No, it was a shit practice. That's well, all there was. It wasn't, it wasn't a good practice. We had a bad practice. It was a lack of enthusiasm. Right well, now. lack of enthusiasm, lack of execution, a lot of things. Would you comment on the record about the incident with the uh, TV camera? No, NFL I will not. Mm -hmm. You told them they would never walk. I back. didn't say that. I did not say that, Mike. I did not say that, okay? I did not say that. You told them never to come back. I did not say that. I, I, I will not comment on that. That's that's a done deal. What about a fellow's injury? Well, I don't think it's a serious injury. He landed on the front of his kneecap, and he, it's sore. I, I don't think it's anything serious. Right or left knee? I don't know. No. Okay, I didn't take note of that. You know, I'd like to uh, begin my remarks by saying this, and I mean this in all sincerity. I've been coaching for 34 years, and tonight I saw and heard one of the most disgusting, rudest, sick demonstrations in my entire career, probably the worst. When Wade Wilson got hurt, I actually looked up in the sands and saw people standing, clapping, and cheering when he was laying on the ground with a knee injury. And I'll say this, those are some sick, sick, sick people, mentally sick. I thought it was horrible, disgusting, embarrassing, shameful, it stuck. People are sick when they do something like that. Absolutely friggin' sick. Guy's out there busting his ass, like all of our guys were, gets his knee blown up, not badly, hopefully, and they're standing and cheering and clapping. Those are sick people, sick in the head. They ought to get their ass thrown right out of the stadium. So should you think the fans' reaction to, to what happened to Wilson affected the whole world of your team? No, no. It's just, it's just, it, was, it was the sickest thing I've ever seen in 34 years of coaching. Sickest I've ever seen in 34 years of coaching. It, it makes me want to just, I don't know, I can't describe it. Words don't describe how I feel right now of what happened tonight. Words cannot describe it. What about those, your players? Oh, I, well, I don't know. Ask, ask them. I would hope that they'd be upset as I am. If, if they, you know, I would hope so. I mean, that's, it's disgusting. I've never been in a stadium in my life, in my 34 years of coaching where they did that. Never. And I've been in every NFL stadium, most, a lot of college stadiums. It was disgusting. People are nuts. They're sick. Don't you think that was a clip on the power <clears throat> You have been somewhat criticized this year for not being uh, pissed after some of these losses and if there's one thing maybe today you seem like you are for the first time all season pissed off well let me tell you something kenny what i seem like or what i say or how i act to you and to the public isn't necessarily how i am there's sometimes when i've been nice and calm and cool and collected and you think i'm very low-key and inside i'm as pissed as i can be okay just as pissed as i can be and i might have spent an hour chewing out our team you don't know that you don't know what I said to our team. The public doesn't know what I said to our team. Sometimes I might be pissed off over here and I might have been Mr. Nice Guy to the team. Nobody knows. Nobody in this room knows and nobody out there in the public knows what I say to our football team. So how can they determine whether I'm pissed or not pissed? Whether I'm pissed to you guys don't mean a hill of beans to those players, okay? It's my reaction and my, and my well, how I talk to those players that's important, not how I talk to you or the public. That don't mean shit. And they don't know. So, so they say, well, what's, Jim's too calm. Bullshit. They don't know whether I'm calm or not. They don't know how I've responded out there to a meeting. You guys don't know whether. You've never been in a meeting. So you don't know.